Doug, while we're on this stuff, the, Buy America, what's going on there? You've uh, you just wrote, wrote about it. Well, the USDA asked for a, a temporary a repeal of the, or, you know, a break from it. And that's for, for the reconnect loans. But remember, they also have like 29 different grant loan projects worth a hundred billion dollars or something, because they also do farm loans and all sorts of other stuff. And so they, they said they needed a timeout because their borrowers didn't understand how to buy American. They actually said, can we have a little break so we can go teach them how to do that? But they're expecting to go back to it. The White House, White House made it clear about two and a half, three months ago that they did not expect to give people any waivers. Meanwhile, I have all sorts of, I'm on, on these podcasts watching Talking Heads going, yeah, they're probably going to give us a waiver. I don't believe anyone's going to get a waiver. I really don't think it's coming. I mean, the White House is real serious about sticking to Buy America. So Now, you say that. If we take that, I think this is the uh, immovable force or the immovable object in the unstoppable force. Um, you said that there's pieces that we cannot buy in the United States. Yeah, and 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 for electronics and stuff, there is a percentage of American, so that you have to fit them under the piece that's not American. So there, I mean, it's, for fiber and conduit, it's 100% American. Period, no waiver. So it just depends on the item you're buying. Things made out of steel, 100% American. It's the electronics, it's 55% American for most of them. A few of them are 45%. So, yeah. So there, there's room to wiggle that stuff. So.